table in the sea room and these are a bunch of butterflies from Walt Disney's daughter's collection. This is the third room. All right here's what you got for beverages and appetizers. Wine and beer options, specialty cocktails, beer, and then we have entrees. Pork, steak, chicken, there's a vegetable dish, seafood option, fish, 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 a steak salad, and some lamb. We just discovered that on the back of the menu there's a little uh, letter from Alberta Falls. And then at the end she says, please relax, enjoy your meal, then get out. P.S. I'm sorry, that was rude. Please get out. <laughs> what we got there, Mir? It's the The really long starting word punch. It's got boba balls and what does it taste like? It's fruity. Yeah, it tastes very like just fruity and good. <laughs> so, wait. What'd you get? So I got the uh, Trader Lamb. So it has some there's carrots, mushrooms, uh, onion, it has some garnish, and it has some lamb. Medium rare for you. This is the right. seafood stew. Looks very delicious. It's got octopus and mussels and shrimp, okay. then a big prawn and some bay scallops. Very good. So I got the hearty har char sweet um, pork. Um, it's got jasmine rice and charred pork, and it smells really, really good. I got the steak. The first thing that I noticed when they set it down was the smell. It smells absolutely delicious. Absolutely. It's nice and um, spicy, but it doesn't smell overwhelming. So let's see how it is. I liked mine. Post dinner hot beverage options. A bunch of different teas. And then here are the dessert options. Now the best part was definitely when our waiter handed us our dessert menus. He handed them to us like this, and on the back we have this. Love it. Love it. So if you order this dessert, they will 
place it in front of you along with every other dessert that you order and say the name faster than you can even catch. It's Bertha's Bon Bong Long Cake with Mango Lime Sorbet. And this is a vanilla chiffon cake soaked with lemongrass ginger syrup. Aiden got the coconut bar with pineapple basil compote oh, yeah. and vanilla cream. Yep. Dad got the Kungaloosh, an African inspired chocolate cake with caramelized bananas served with a cashew caramel ice cream topped with coffee dust. And I got the quicksand. A jasmine rice pudding, mango, oops, sorry, a jasmine rice pudding, mango sauce, lemon curd, hibiscus meringue, and pineapple. Here. what so it looks like on the inside. So now we're going to try the coconut bar. So I just realized we're all quiet, which means dessert is really good. Also not sharing. Give me that flower. <laughs> I just shared with you. The flower I enjoyed mine very much. As you can see, I devoured it. <laughs> He's still, I've taken one bite and his is gone. <laughs> Here's some of the books that just are in the bookcase. Cause the whole plot of the C room is that it's a hidden room. And if you look, there's hinges all along here. It's the jungle that you can pull out to open the door. Yeah. So we just got out of dinner at the uh, Jungle Skipper Canteen over in Adventureland. And I for one was very pleasantly surprised. I'm not necessarily the most adventurous eater, um, but I had the steak and it, it was really good. It was um, done medium rare, um, easy, easy to kind of get through even though it was a uh, New York strip. It was a little bit peppery, but very, very flavorful. I like the red wine reduction. Um, the dessert was, was very good. I think um, even if you're a picky eater, they have enough variety in the flavors that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, the camera's falling. Oh. <laughs> I would say the food was great. I loved like the, the flavors and, the, and all of that. The only things that I was probably a little bit disappointed with is I kind of thought it was going to be more of like... Uh, they're messing with you and they're joking with you and it kind of wasn't but that being said the interior is really cool like the just the design of it like where you feel like you're in this like little 30s canteen is, is, is neat so um portions were smaller than some of the other restaurants but the quality is higher um so if you want a little bit nicer food um but you're not necessarily concerned about getting like huge portions i, I would definitely go there that being said though, they're still very filling. Like I I found like I'm completely full now. I mean, I'm not a very huge appetite. I don't have a very humongous appetite anyway. So the smaller portions is what I like, but everything is very good. I got the quicksand um, dessert and my only comment about it was just that the texture was a little weird for the jasmine pudding. But otherwise it was really good. Like there was a little meringue and all the fruit um, like purees on top are really good. One of the cool things going back uh, that they put on my plate and Aiden's plate for the dessert was this combination of basil and sugar. So it's just flavors that I've never had before and were really cool that they put together. Aiden, what do you think? Really good. I liked it a lot. Good. What'd you like about it? Everything. I devoured everything. That was <laughs> like he was never going to be fed again. Yep. So I think overall it's some place that we would go back to and I'm interested to see like what they do in the future. So with that being said, thank you for joining us for our experience at the Jungle Skipper Canteen. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and until next time, we now invite you to set your imaginations free.